everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Born the son of a Visigoth nobleman, St. Benedict of Anyan, who was given the Gothic name Witiza, was educated in the Frankish courts under the reign of Charlemagne. In 773, while on a campaign for Charlemagne in Italy, Benedict had a near-death experience while trying to rescue his brother from drowning in the river Tessin. This sobering moment caused him to act upon a desire for religious life. Leaving the service of the emperor, Benedict chose to become a monk at the age of 20 and entered the St. Sequanus Abbey. There, he took the name Benedict, and for two and a half years, he had nothing but bread and water, slept on the bare floor, prayed through the night, and walked around barefoot. Although the monks wanted to make him abbot, he felt that they would not be able to adopt his extremely austere practices. So, instead, he left the abbey and built his own monastery on the river Anyan. Benedict saw the great need for reform in monastic life through austerity and manual labor. Eventually, he adopted the Benedictine rule and began to see great success in his spiritual community. His influence quickly spread and he gradually reformed other monasteries in the surrounding areas. It wasn't long before Emperor Louis the Pious appointed Benedict to oversee all the monasteries in the Frankish Empire, giving him the power to enact reform and conduct communications between the different communities. In 817, Benedict was made the head of a council of abbots who then created a code of regulations for all houses. His dream was to reunite monastic life with its original primitive strictness, especially where practices had become lax. He wrote a systemization of the Benedictine rule for all monks within the empire, compiled a collection of all monastic regulations, and wrote a concordia comparing the similarities of Benedict's rule with other monastic leaders. His focus became the liturgical character of monastic life, stressing the importance of daily mass and the divine office. His work even influenced the future focus on teaching and writing among monks. Benedict today is referred to as the restorer of Western monasticism. He restored the focus on personal poverty and chastity with obedience to leaders who themselves were subject to the same rules. Being so focused on rules, you might think Benedict got lost in all the legality, but we find that this was not the case. He was a man greatly concerned with the salvation of his brothers. He is quoted as encouraging his fellow monks by saying, if most precepts are impossible for you to remember, keep at least this short one. Depart from evil and do good. If you ever get weighed down by the thought of following a bunch of rules, just remember, being Catholic is about developing your relationship with God. Anything you do or don't do should be weighed against that ultimate goal of being unified with Him. St. Benedict of Anyan, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.